Okay, um, I'm happy to have you in class today. You're welcome to the Supernovas TV or if you're watching via Facebook, the Supernovas Academy. Uh, this is a science and maths channel. Okay, we teach the basic knowledge you need to okay have and know in the in maths and in the sciences. Today we're looking at chemistry. Okay, that's chemistry practical. Okay, for the white candidates, uh, this is actually for you. Okay. Um, we are looking at uh, part one of the chemistry practical. You have titration, and that's quantitative analysis, and then you have qualitative analysis, and then you have the um, the third part, which is on based on general knowledge alternative part. Okay, so um, if this is your first time coming across a video, kindly give us a follow or subscribe to the channel. You have lots of um, knowledge here. Okay. Um, so let's go straight to what we have here. Please like this video. It's very important. Thank you. Okay, um, now we are looking at chemistry practical. The volume of pipette we have is already usually 25 cm cube. Okay, then we have indicator metal orange. We are using indicator metal orange because we are dealing with um, a strong acid and a weak base. So we can put up uh, the equation here, okay? Okay, so you can have that as an equation. Okay, don't put those other states of matter, you can put it there, put them there because of space. Okay, and then now take note from this equation before we go to this table that the reacting moles, okay, one ratio one. This is the acid, take note, uh, which is also known as um, A, and this is the base which we label as B dependent. So now to um, start a titration, we know the precautions, okay? You have to put a wire tab below the conical flux. You have to, and the reasons for each of these. Some of these can form the number three questions, okay? You have to, the bullet has to be erected, you know, straight vertically erect, okay? And then, to have our values, it's very important to start, okay, most likely to start from 0, 0.00. Take note that in this table, you have 10 marks awarded for this table. This table has 10 marks. Now you can get all the 10 marks and you can lose all the 10 marks. Depends on how you reported the practical before you go over to the calculations um, part. Now, if you're reporting this, you can see Borat reading CM cube. This must be in cm cube. If you have rough titer, you must have your cm cube here. You must have this here. You must have this here. You must have this here. Okay, that tells us the unit in which you're, you know, reporting this. Okay, then you have final region. Like I said, we can always start from 0, 0.00. That's from the initial. Okay, so 0, 0.00. Okay, if you have 0, 0.0, it's not correct, please. So you have to 0 0.00, two decimal places. All the values on this table must be recorded to two decimal places. I'll put that down. So two decimal places, all the values on this table. All right, so now the, the title value will be using because from various experiments, take note that no two schools or kind of yeah, group of students in different schools, um, it's not actually a must that you should have um, the same values. Okay, we don't expect, why does not expect that everybody in a state or in a region has the same title value, no. But the title value your teacher uses or the most common title value generally among the students. If the teacher does not submit a title value, then the title value that occurred most, okay, among students, that's what they will use to mark. Okay, so we can have schools that have 23.00 CMQ as a title value that's Volume of acid required to neutralize 25 cm cube of base. You can have schools that have 21.00, you can have schools that have 22.00, okay, but within that range, okay. Now, let's say we want to use, um, let's use 22.00 cm cube. Now, if we want to use this, we want to get our average to this, okay. This is the average we want to use, for instance, 
okay we are not okay saying you must use this value but if you perform your experiment you can have 22.00 you can have 21.00 you can also have 23.00 now it depends on the title value that you're using okay as a teacher or as a school so if we want to use 22.00 all right now we have our 0, 0.00 as our initial okay now this is a rough title we can have for the rough title we have 22 points let's say um three zero take note they're not gonna mark this this is just rough okay this is rough now um final volume of acid use you have 22.30 okay now you go over to the first second and third title that is the one that will concentrate on to mark now take note they may actually mark these two okay if it lies within plus or minus 0 0.20 cmq now you have two title values that they will concentrate on to mark like the y can the y can markers or examiners okay the values they want to see that are concordant you can choose to make all your values concordant perfect okay but at least two to three of your values must be concordant to end you eight marks from this table if they know there's no value that's concordant here you have no mark this we have zero over eight all right now let's go on so when you use arrive at two and two point zero zero now these are all of which we we don't want to consider among the concordant values that's why i put it at 20.030 now let's say we started from 0, 0.00 here okay then the next one remember this remember so we have 22.10 okay and then final we have 22.10 okay Talk on title value 0, 0.00 again and then we have 22 or 21.90 i hope you've seen this and then we have 21.90 here and then third title value we have from 0, 0.00 and then we have 22.00 and then 22.00 here so you can now see that these three values are concordant we can choose to make them the same okay no issue we can we may choose to make 22.00 20.00 20.00 everything okay but this is also correct take note this is because the range okay is not more than plus plus or minus 0 0.20 simply from this to this they are within the same value so you can get a mark for this you can get a mark for this you can get a mark for this and this you can get a mark for this and this okay you can see this you can get a mark get a mark there. this is four marks and this is four marks so that's eight marks okay but you can choose to make everything like or from this part of the same value everything they'll just choose two two concordant values and then give you a mark now for this table uh, also you must not okay use pencil to make this table Okay, some students, um, they don't want to make mistakes, so they just use pencil and then draw the table and then use a pen to trace it. That's, and then erase it. That's very wrong. You must use a pen and it must be clearly stated, your table. You must not cancel any of these digits. Please, you must not mutilate or cancel anything here. You must not. If you do that, you, you are losing math gradually. Okay? And then you must not cancel an entire table after drawing it. If you finish drawing and you feel you made a mistake, it's better you don't start drawing and then cancel everything. Because if you cancel everything, you are still losing max. Cancel everything and then draw another one. You're losing max for that. Okay, I hope you're following what we're trying to explain. So, and then, um, like I said, you don't cancel. You don't cancel out the entire table. You don't cancel any figure here, any digits here. You don't do that. Everything must be to two decimal places, as, as you have seen. Okay, on the board and then to calculate the vol average volume of acid used I'll have, I'll have to rub this off okay so when i calculate average volume of acid used average volume of acid used 
So we pick two concordant or three concordant values, whichever way. So we can pick these three and divide by three. Or we can pick these two and divide by two. Okay? If you want to pick the three, we we'll have 22.10 plus 21.90 um, and then plus 22.00. We divide everything by three. This will give me 22.00 cm cube. Okay? Take note of the unit, please. For every calculation you make here, for everything you do, make sure you put the unit. And for this table, for this now, we have our 10 marks. Okay? You can get the 10 marks once you don't make all, any error. And you follow the rules. Okay? So in our next um, video, we'll be looking at um, calculations. Okay? Calculations on the on the titration experiment. Okay, we can just um, go on. Okay, um, calculations on titration experiment. Before we do that, I want to wrap. I want to wrap this off. Remember, average volume of acid. Use you will have 22 centimeter cube. Okay, so 22 centimeter cube that's the average volume of acid. Use. Now, before we go over to the calculation, what are some formulas we need to know? Formulas, okay, this is the second part of this class. I hope you're still following. Formulas we need to know. Remember, we have molar concentration. That is in mole per dm cube. This is how to write a mole per dm cube. Okay, you can write it like this. You can write it like this. I hope you can see that. Okay, so that is mole per dm cube. Then this is equal to mass concentration. That's also known as mass con in gram per dm cube over molar mass in gram per mass. I hope you can see that. Units are very important. Okay, this is the first formula you may need. You also have another number of moles equal molar concentration, molar conch, times volume divided by 1000 it depends on the one one do it maybe acid or base okay molar conch of that times the volume divided by 1000 then we also have number of moles equal mass divided by molar mass all right then we have also the basic formula we're using. You can use calculate molar concentration. We can also use this. Depends on what we have. So we also have um, in relation to acid and base. We have a CAVA over CBVB equal NA over NB. I'll be following this. Okay. So we have this formula. Take note. CA is molar conch of acid. Okay, CB is molar conch of base. Okay, NB, NA is number of moles. From the equation, we get that. Number of moles of acid. NB is number of moles of base. From the equation. In this case, we have one one. And then VA, that's the average volume of acid we just calculated. Volume of acid. And um, VB is volume of base. VB is volume of base. Okay, so we would like to use these formulas in our calculations.
Please take note of this formula as you have been written on the board. Okay, we'll go to the third stage. In this 